Hi, my name is Adrian and welcome to PowerDirector 9. Today I'm going to look at the use of title sets, the use of the matching particle effect to a title set, and then we'll have a quick look at the use of background images in menus and titles. What is a title set? Well, the user guide tells us it is a group of four themed title templates, which are obviously useful if you want to keep the same theme throughout your video. Let's have a look at one or two. Let's see if we go to the title room keyboard F7. I've done a selection on vacation titles and what I've got here are four under the sea themed title templates. But let's have a look in the particle effect room. And we have a matching particle effect to my undersea titles. And we'll use all of these later on. We can preview this in our preview window. Now let's use our titles and particle effects to complete our video. I want to start my video with the particle effect, so I'm going to select it, drag it down to track 1, place it at the front of the video and choose insert. I want to shorten it from 10 seconds down to 6 seconds, which I can do by dragging the right hand boundary. Now let's move into titles. Keyboard F7, we will choose our main opening title and PowerDirector 9 allows us to place it into a video track. I'm going to do that and again choose Insert. We can do this but we must be aware that if we place a title track in track 1 instead of the dedicated title track anything in lower track numbers will overlay it. And as long as we're sure that there's nothing else going to be below this title then we can proceed. I want to alter the title itself. I double click on it. I want to change the main title here to Safaga Egypt and I want to change the subtitle into 2008. I want to move the subtitle to the center or thereabouts to give the right effect and there we have it. We press OK and that will be saved. The reason I wanted to have the particle effect and the title on the main video track was that I want to place a transition between the two. And I can then place a fade between the two and we will get a seamless transition between the particle effect and the title. Let's choose the other titles. If we have this second title that we want to be perhaps in this place, we can shorten it a little bit. We want to change the title contents and we're going to change it to The Angry Nemo. This is because Nemo fish are slightly territorial and do attack cameras if you try and take photographs of them. So let's just play this video from the start to have a quick look at what it looks like. That's our particle effect. We then move into our title, into our main video and into our next title. We have a choice now of two more themed titles, so let's move this one to this position. We'll perhaps shorten it a little bit by dragging it. We could of course click the duration button, double click on it to modify, put in a humorous title here of Go Away, Go Away because the angry Nemo is attacking the camera. And our last title is our closing credits, which we can place here, or we can place it in our title track. If we place that there, double click on it to modify it, we can select our text and change it to and 
for uh, Karen. And very quickly, we have a themed entry to our video, a themed main title, subsequent interim titles, and a final rolling credits title. And that's perhaps how we can use title sets and the accompanying particle effect. Now I want to use a custom image as a background or to incorporate it into our title. It's a little more difficult with an animated title than a straightforward non-animated title. We can highlight our title, in this case the rolling end credits, and we can click the modify button or double click the title itself. And we go into the title designer window. We need to pick the insert image button, select that, we will select the image that is actually a snapshot from the main video and it will insert our image into our title. We need to make it a little bit bigger so that we can see something so we make it a little larger by clicking and dragging its boundaries. We want to place it so that we can see what it looks like and we want to rotate it to give it a little bit of life but it still looks pretty terrible and that's because we need to place this image in the right position relative to our titles and animation. Using the up and down arrows we can place it between our title and our animation so it doesn't interfere with anything. It still doesn't look very much different so what we need to do is use the color picker and choose a background image and background color to remove. I'll select the background in our image and then using the intensity level slider you can very carefully key out the background just leaving a little Nemo fish. You can see on the right hand side we still have some residual images of the original camera so perhaps we can get rid of that by taking it out of frame and that looks not too bad. We press OK and there we have our little background image in our animated title. So I hope you found that useful. Thank you for watching.